question 3. This question is about transition metal, uh, mostly focused on the iron uh, related complex ion. Um, A part 1. Explain why iron has a variable uh, oxidation state. Uh, so it can be explained um, by this uh, 3D and 4S uh, subshell. So generally, uh, iron can form uh, two oxidation state. Uh, means the this uh, iron two and iron three. Uh, so why it can form a different uh, oxidation state uh, for this ion? Okay. So first, uh, the four S and three D orbital, they are very close to each other. When the electrons removed, it will remove from the 4s subshaft because it's uh, further away from the nucleus and uh, it's easier to uh, remove. Once the electrons here, the two electrons here removed, then uh, it will follow by the 3d electron because uh, they are different. Is uh, uh, very small so to release uh, another electrons uh, from 3d is uh, easier uh, so that's why it can form a different oxygen state and of course it can continue to form uh, the higher oxidation state uh, but it just needs uh, extra or more elect uh, more energies so this is the standard answer uh, for this uh, uh, wearable oxidation state Part 2. Complete the shorthand electronic configurations for the iron and iron 3 uh, positive. Uh, for this iron is quite easy. First, you need to, of course, uh, check the product table, uh, get the numbers, uh, or you can uh, immediately get its position and its uh, electronic configuration. So it's argon 3d6 for H2. Uh, iron 3. Uh, means uh, you need to release three electrons uh, two electrons from 4s because it's uh, furthest away from nucleus and another electrons from the 3d so uh, it will become uh, this uh, 5 3d5 right so for this uh, iron to form iron 3 it released three electrons two electrons from 4s and one electrons from 3d B. An equal solution of uh, this uh, iron 3 nitrate uh, contains a complex, okay, this one we call hexa aqua uh, iron 3 ion. Uh, when the solution of this uh, potassium uh, dioxide cyanate, uh, so KSCN, uh, and uh, this uh, uh, hexa aqua iron 3 are mixed, a color change is observed. The red precipitate okay, with this uh, complex ion form. Okay, so first, part one. Define complex. Okay, so it's a molecule formed by a central metal atom. So in this case, it's uh, iron, uh, which is surrounded by one or more ligands. Uh, so in this uh, complex ion, it's surrounded by six uh, water ligands. Okay, so this is just a general definition. So you can just follow this. Part two, state the coordination number of the this iron in the this uh, hexa aqua iron three. Uh, so the coordination number it depends on how many dative bonds is formed. So there are six dative bonds here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so it's just six here. Okay. Part three, the HOH -H bond angle in water is 104.5 degree. Okay, this one uh, you should learn in AS. Uh, suggest the HOH -H bond angle in this uh, uh, complex ion, hexa aqua ion 3. Uh, so first you have to understand uh, why the this HOH uh, -H bond angle in water is 104.5. Because uh, the oxygen has two lone pair. The repulsions of the lone pair is stronger than the bonding pair here 
So that's why it will make the angle smaller. If uh, there is a equal repulsion, it should be 109.5. Uh, uh, so because the repulsion of the lone pair is stronger, so it will make this HOH1 angle smaller. And now uh, let's compare with this uh, the water molecules with this uh, the, the bond angle. Uh, in this uh, complex ion, the oxygen is formed the active bond with the iron, okay, which is uh, look like this. Means uh, oxygen. Okay, let's say now this uh, H2O, right? This is the H2O. Uh, is formed three uh, bonding here, right? So there are three bonding pair. So uh, one with the iron, another one with hydrogen, another one with hydrogen. So oxygen uh, is has one lone pair, three bonding pair. So when the central uh, atom uh, is has three bonding pair, one lone pair, uh, is quite similar to the uh, this uh, ammonia, uh, which is uh, one zero seven. Uh, so is uh, uh, the geometry is uh, something like a, a trigonal pyramid. Uh, so that's why your answer it should be this one. Uh, the bond angle should be around uh, 107 okay, because as I told you uh, it has one lone, one lone pair three bonding pair right uh, and uh, uh, that's why it has this bond angle right uh, so as one lone pair from the oxygen is donated to the this uh, iron so less repulsion between the electron pair uh, it's not like the uh, uh, more repulsion in the water molecules. Okay, part four. Explain why iron complexes they are colored. Uh, so first, uh, there are uh, a few points that you need to uh, explain. Uh, first, you need to uh, talk about the DD uh, orbital splitting. Uh, before the ligand approach, uh, all these uh, d orbitals they are degenerate, means uh, they are at the same energy level. When the ligand approach, then the these uh, d d splittings happen. So it will the five orbitals it will split to two uh, energies level or two sets, uh, something like this. Okay, these two sets. And the two orbitals, uh, that higher energy level, is the one that uh, direct bonded to the ligand, uh, something like this. Okay, I show you this one. Uh, this one is the okay. Uh, the this um, brown particle is uh, let's say it's a ligand, and this is a metal uh, ion. Um, so when the ligand approach, it will approach in different direction. So for octahedral complex, it will approach uh, along the axis, means uh, it will point to the uh, axis z, y, and x. So it means uh, these three axis. So the ligand will approach uh, uh, along this uh, x, y, z axis, and therefore the orbitals that affected. Uh, they are dx square y square and dz square. dz square is uh, something like this. So uh, uh, two lobes and one donut ring along this uh, uh, z axis. And uh, the ligand, another four ligand will approach uh, to this uh, this uh, four direction, right? The y and x axis. So that's why the dx square, y square, and dz square they experience more repulsion, because the ligand itself uh, is a donate lone pair uh, to the metal ion, uh, and the orbitals also uh, it has electron, so you feel some repulsion. So these two orbitals therefore it will split to higher energy level compared to this uh, this three, which the ligand uh, uh, is not directly uh, approach or pointing to this uh, uh, this uh, direction okay, so therefore uh, the first thing you need to mention is this right dd orbital split into two energies level 
Okay, the reason I already explained. Um, okay, once it's undergo the DD splitting, uh, then uh, the light will pass through. So let's say now uh, some light pass through the solution or the complex ion. Uh, so when the light pass through, let's say now the light is coming, pass through, the electrons uh, at the lower energy level right, will uh, absorb the some of the wavelength or energy and it will get excited, it will jump up. Okay, so this is the second explanation. Okay, when the light pass through the complex ion solution, electrons in lower energy level will absorb certain energy and get excited to higher energy level. So, the light that absorb, we cannot see. We only can see the light that transmitted. Okay, because uh, let's say the solutions uh, in this, uh, let's say, test tube, in the okay, test tube and the uh, light pass through so if the light being absorbed by the solution okay we only see the complementary color means when the light is being absorbed we cannot see the color we only can see the color that remains so the one that uh, transmitted is the the light that remains so means uh, it's the complementary color of the light that being absorbed. Uh, so uh, try to look look at this uh, this uh, color. If let's say let's say uh, uh, the red color is being absorbed, then we will only see the green color because the green color will uh, transmitted. Uh, so this is the idea. Uh, the light that being absorbed by the electrons will not be seen. Only the complementary color. Okay, will be observed. Okay, part five. Aqueous solution of complex. Uh, this uh, hexa aqua uh, iron three, uh, and this uh, complex ion are different color. So these two complex they have different color. Um, explain why these complexes uh, are different color. So just now we explain how the colors form. Now, why they have different color? Uh, so, we just need to focus on the delta E. So, because different ligand, uh, they're going to have a different uh, this, uh, delta E uh, that produce. So, when the delta E is different, means the wavelength that being absorbed also different. And therefore, we will see different complementary color. Uh, so, this is the idea. Huh? Uh, let's say now we have two complex ions with different delta E, delta E1, delta E2. So the electrons here will absorb different uh, wavelength and will get excited. And we'll see different complementary color. Okay, so this is the explanation. Uh, so the complexes uh, have different uh, DD uh, energy gap, means delta E. Different wavelength of visible light will be absorbed by the electrons for excitation from lower energy set to higher energy set that like I told you just now. Okay, that's that's why they have different color, yeah. Okay, part C. Uh, this is about K step, uh, stability constant for different complex uh, of the ion. So we have the this one, uh, the K step, let's say I put the first one first complex ion as uh, this care step at care step 1 uh, the second complex ion uh, as care step 2 and uh, so from here we know that uh, the care step 2 is larger so means it's uh, more stable um, okay now let's see the part 1 uh, what they're asking uh, okay so this complex ion okay, can form when the this uh, phosphoric acid react with the this uh, hexa aqua ion uh, three ion. Okay, write any equations for this reaction. Uh, this one you first need to understand uh, how the uh, the the ligand being produced. Okay, the phosphoric acid uh, it will dissociate and form this uh, H two uh, PO four 
negative and the H plus. Okay, so this one, this an ion, uh, it will act as a ligand, which will exchange with the one of the H2O here. So means one of the H2O in this uh, hexa aqua ion three will be exchanged, and it will form this new complex ion. So the H2O that being re uh, exchanged or replaced, uh, it will of course combine with the H plus here. Right, so H2O with H plus from the hydronium ion. Okay, that's why we get this equation. Part two, write an expression for the k step, okay, for this complex ion and give its units. This one is quite easy. Um, so, first, you need to uh, at least uh, start with this, uh, this equation. If you uh, not sure how the care step uh, uh, expression likes so you can uh, form this equation first so it start with the this uh, hexa aqua ion 3 with the this uh, diocyanate ion uh, and uh, the H2O will exchange with this uh, this uh, anion and form this uh, uh, new complex ion uh, of course the water uh, will uh, will get exchanged or replaced. Okay, when you try to give the care step, okay, try not to include the H2O here, because the H2O here is uh, in large excess. Okay, means it's a constant. So uh, we don't put the constant into the care step. We only put the one that we know, means the concentrations that we know. So you just put the concentration of the new complex here over the concentration of the hexa aqua. Uh, ion 3 and this uh, diocyanate ion so uh, the unit is very easy uh, it's mole per dm cube okay, over the this uh, uh, mole square dm uh, negative 6 so eventually you get this per mole dm cube okay, part 3 use the stability constant in the this uh, table 3.1 to calculate the value of the Kc uh, for this equilibrium Okay, so uh, of course you no need to construct this uh, or give this expression. I just uh, show you how the KSC looks like. Uh, it's actually the concentration of the products over the concentration of reactant. So this is these are the products and these are the reactant. Um, so in order to do this or to get uh, this uh, KSC, uh, so what what should we do? Uh, we should use the uh, K step two over K step one. Uh, care step two is uh, uh, this uh, equation is this one, and the care step one the equation is this one, and uh, from this equation we can form this, this uh, this part. From this equation, we can form this part. You can try it out if you want. Huh? Okay, so if we use the care step two over care step one. Right. So eventually, uh, okay, it will be uh, okay. Let's say this one move up, right? So, uh, it can the hexa aqua ion three can be eliminated. Uh, this one is uh, here. So eventually, it will be same as the okay means. Uh, now uh, we have the expression. Uh, it just like this case. Okay, so after this uh, hexa aqua, uh, this ion three ion being eliminated, so uh, we have this one, right, as a product, and we have this one as a reactant, right. It's same as a KC expression. Uh, so basically, it's just K uh, step two over K step one means uh, one thirty over fifty nine. Uh, that's how uh, we get this answer uh, in the mark scheme. So it's two point two. Two zero three. Okay, that's all. Thank you.